Sherry. And health coach Sherry. And today we wanted to bring you something that is an amazing treat and it also is a lower carbohydrate version than you'll normally find. So it's really friendly for our diabetics. Absolutely. And we're starting to see spaghetti squash in all the stores mm -hmm. and the farmer's markets. And maybe you don't know what to do with it. Well, let's just do traditional spaghetti with it. In preparing these rascals, I'm going to tell you, they're very difficult to cut in half. And one of the tricks that is helpful, this is a lot like doing pumpkins, mm -hmm. one of the tricks that is helpful is if you have a microwave, put it in the microwave. You don't have to poke holes in it or anything. Um, put it in. We did five minutes and that really wasn't even quite enough. I had to have my husband cut it with his big muscles. So <laughs> what you want to do is get it soft enough so that you don't risk hurting yourself with a knife. But you don't want it too soft because then you've already cooked it. Just enough that you can get the knife into it with a little bit of effort. Okay, mm. so you want to clean out the seeds just like you would do a pumpkin or any other squash. It already looks like spaghetti. It does. And this is easy, just a little bit of olive oil in each. And we're going to salt and pepper insides. I was worried there wasn't like a sprinkler on it. Oh yeah, we've done that one before. <laughs> <laughs> and then okay. I like to play with my food and just give it a nice rub. Maybe a little bit more around the edges because you don't want it to get dried out. Are you good nurse Jamie? Mm, yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to put them on a baking sheet. I use parchment paper Primarily because we are on camera and this is a very nasty looking cookie sheet. Um, I need to invest in some pretty ones. So now the secret is out. So Who's going to open the oven now that we have greasy hands? Oh, oh, I only did one of my hands because I rubbed it. Way to go. Okay. okay. So at 350, we're going to put these in the oven for about 25 minutes. Okay. We'll come back and let you know. We did a little research for you to find out which sauces have the least amount of sugar and are the healthiest options. And by far, locally, what we found is Trader Joe's Organic Tomato Basil Marinara. Also, you can go for Newman's Own Organic Marinara. That one has six grams of sugar, whereas this one from Trader Joe's has three grams of sugar. We've cooked up some nice lean ground turkey. First, Jamie, you can go ahead and pour that in here now. Sure thing, I will. And you'd be surprised at how much sugar they'll hide in can, especially tomato products, because it's mm -hmm. so acidic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. We set the timer for about 25 minutes for the spaghetti squash, and that's cooking. <laughs> so while that is getting nice and tender. We're going to get the sauce ready so that once it comes out of the oven, dinner is on. Mm, looks good. So our spaghetti squash has come out of the oven and it is amazing. And look at the golden brown edges to it. It's so good. So you just put your fork into it and it slides right out and it's pre-made noodles. Magically nature made noodles. Look at that without all the carbohydrates and calories. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely a better option. Okay, there you go. That looks like a nice size serving. Mm-hmm. And we've got our sauce. Over here with with some... turkey. So this is yeah. nice and high protein. Sometimes we eat a lot of spaghetti just to get us filled up. With this, we have the protein in the turkey that will help satisfy your appetite. There you go. I know somebody who's been waiting to try this. I <laughs> really have. <laughs> you want some too? Of course I do. Okay. Ugh. I'll see spaghetti is tricky sometimes. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. We did good. <laughs> we did really good. 